A woman I know is dying. She has a will clearly indicating her daughter as the sole inheritor of her estate. She does not believe she is dying and has begun giving her sister family heirlooms for safekeeping. Who keeps the heirlooms when she dies? Okay, it depends if sister A gave it to sister B for the benefit of her daughter. Like, it's one thing if yeah. it's like a four-year-old. She could oh, have created yeah. a trust. That word for safekeeping yeah. is a thing. If it's... If it is, hey, can you hold on to this for me, and you're not actually giving up ownership, yeah, then it would go to the daughter. But if it was fully given as a gift, then it belongs to the sister. Right. I, these are one of those things I would suggest putting in writing, even with like a little note, <laughs> like okay. this is for my daughter. Let's say she's actually sick and she has like a do young daughter, and she's like, I'm giving it to my sister because a four-year-old's not going to be able to keep it, and her dad is not going to be is not going to keep up with it. So I want the family heirlooms for my daughter to stay in the family and my sister will watch it. So that's technically a trust. So right. the the verbiage though for safekeeping, like that's that important. is, that yeah, is very, important. very important. Could, what she meant by safekeeping. Yeah, right. that is not a gift. Right. Even if she wrote in the will specifically, the grandfather clock goes to my daughter. Um, if she then gives it to her sister before she dies, then that specific exactly. gift goes away. The will wow. only can pass objects you own at, your t at the time of her death. So if I gave away all my money, not my will has there's not much to give in my will well you're allowed to deplete your estate yeah the will is not a binding document until the day you die so you can change it you can amend it someone can make you mad at thanksgiving the prior beneficiary has no obligate has no legal right to it if she's concerned about the safekeeping so that i would recommend she do talk she does talk yeah. with an estate attorney to get that board structure on the table so they get in everything writing. in writing so yeah. that both the sister who's giving the items for safekeeping and the sister who's receiving it are on the same page because mm -hmm. there might be a material misunderstanding both ways one sister even the sister who's giving it for safekeeping thinks she's giving her other sister a gift or the one who's getting it think who's getting it for safekeeping thinks it's hers you kind of want to clear that up so that there's not a giant misunderstanding and or legal fight later on yeah. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, make sure you like it. Post a comment with your thoughts. We'd love to hear what you're thinking and jump in the comments, have a little argument with you. If you want to argue with us, that'd be great. Uh, also, if you could share this video, if it resonated with you and you think it could help other people, that would be fantastic. Guys, if you would like a will, estate plan, or just about anything else regarding end of life legacy preservation, uh, give us a call at 404-939-7562 or send us an email. Um, it is info at modernestateplanning.com or post a comment and we will help you there too. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.